hi so in this video i'm gonna show you how i use uh procreate to draw um, because a lot of you have been asking me for a while now just you know how do i use the app to draw what do i do what are my tips and tricks um so i thought it would be helpful to try and film one um i just want to let it be known that like i'm not like um <laughs> i'm not an expert with the app um i'm sure there's a ton of features that i'm not aware of but i'm just going to show you how i usually use it um when i draw so to begin with i'm going to show you the materials that i usually use starting off with the ipad itself this is a um 2020 ipad pro 11 inch and this is the second gen apple pencil and i also use this grip um i'll link it in the description also this glove i get a lot of questions about it sometimes but um yeah it's just a, a smudge guard kind of glove by xp pen i bought it on um, amazon because i sometimes i don't really like the feeling of um my hand across the screen sometimes i feel like it might get dirty or maybe just cringy because of the screen protector i use um the screen protector that i use it's by oh elecom um i think yeah i'll link it in the description box I already have a um, canvas opened up and I usually just do uh, 2048 by 2048 just a simple square because um, that's really good for Instagram but just to show you how to create um, a canvas they have like um, I think usually there's like a few preset ones but you can also create other ones um, but I usually click a square Okay, so the brush I usually use to sketch is the Sketchron brush um, by Gin Sketch, and it's a free brush pack. Um, I'll link it in the description. But yeah, that's the brush I like to use, and so now I'm just gonna sketch out something. Um, yeah. Okay, so here is something quite rough and now I'm going to try and clean it up a little bit more, creating a new layer um, on top of that and turning down the opacity on this one. And at this point, I would like to go over to um, this wand tool and go down to liquify and just kind of move things around um, until I'm happy with how it looks. Another thing you can do is flip the canvas and this is really helpful um, to like show you kind of like what looks off and to help with um, symmetry. Another thing I like to use is the selection tool and yeah, I just use that to kind of shift things around. Like that. Thank you. 
Okay, now that I have a sketch that I am uh, pretty happy with, um, I'm gonna open a new layer underneath that layer and start laying down the colors. handy way to color stuff in um, without like hand scribbling it in is to use a selection tool and just select the area that you want to color like this and then once you connect it back to the circle press on it and it automatically fills it up Now, once I have all um, of my base colors down, um, I like to go back to the sketch layer and switch it to a multiply. And then I create a layer on top and click clipping mask and go to like a reddish kind of color. And then just get like a big brush and color it in. And I like to do this because it makes like the overall picture seem more vibrant. And if I'm not happy with the particular shade, I can go over here and click Hue, Saturation, Brightness, Layer, and just kind of tweak it until I'm happy. Now I'm gonna go um, create a new layer on top of the color. And I'm gonna start, just gonna start shading in the skin. I like to use um, Natty Axel's brushes and mostly her standard airbrush and I have it set to a low opacity and I just shade with that. I'm gonna make a separate clipping mask for the hair.
gonna merge all the layers together. Wait, let me save the sketch actually. So to merge um, the layers quickly, it's, you just grab your fingers and just pinch them like that. So there they are. And now I'm gonna try and play around with some lighting effects. So I'm gonna create another layer on top. The most common type of lighting I usually tend to do is like um, like that little harsh white lighting at the um, at the edges. I'm gonna change the background color to like something a little darker so we can pop a bit more. I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go to like that kind of color and I want to put it like on our hair. Put some on her skin. Something like that. And then I might duplicate it. Then go over here and go to Gaussian Blur. And like, kind of adjust it until I'm satisfied. To kind of make it look a bit more like glowy. I'm gonna group these together. And just yeah let me try another thing um sometimes i like to try and warm up the image by using color dodge is that it yeah got like a warmish orangey color and a soft push and kind of ooh, that's intense i'm gonna throw it on there somewhere Just in certain parts to make it look a bit more alive and then I can like play around with how it looks. Sometimes I like to do um, chromatic aberration so you find it here click layer kind of like position this where you want um, where, you, where you want the effect to what? How do I say this? Anyway, let me just show you. So you just use your hand or your stylus and just kind of drag it out. And so, but do you see what I mean? Like that. You maybe put like a little bit. I think it looks pretty cool. And I might um, try blurring. Gosh, and blurs, click pencil. It doesn't do the whole layer. It will just do the parts that you want it to gonna blur out the edges let's try another thing Change the background color to something a bit more. It's pretty. So yeah, and now when I'm finished, if you want to export it, you can just go into gallery share I usually pick PNG and then save image and also if you want to watch um, the recording back you can click here and just kind of watch like the whole thing And you can also export it here. Full length of 30 seconds. I'm gonna click 30 seconds. 
so that's basically how i use the app um whenever i open it up to draw something um that's kind of like my thought process so yeah i hope you found it helpful and thank you for watching bye